sure a governor you can introduce your yeah, team. You know you're secretary with staff. Oh, oh, we have staff. Okay. Yes, she may collect the committee. I'm going to never collect the committee. Call if you collect the committee. John Perez, Sergeant Atoms. Um, tabling of documents by uh, Mr. Chairman, I hereby table the following documents before the committee. Management responses and accompanying annexures on the following entities for financial years 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021, and 2021, 2022. The Kilifi Ward Scholarship Fund, the Kilifi Emergence Fund, and the Kilifi County Hospital Services Improvement Fund. Uh, very well, thank you, Governor. Uh, auditor, can you confirm that the documents tabled before the committee are the documents that you have reviewed and uh, the documents were processed within the stipulated time frame? And uh, the responses are uh, in the appropriate format for the committee to proceed with this meeting. Thank you, Chair. Yes, I can confirm that the documents were presented within the stipulated time and they are acceptable, in the acceptable format. Thank you. Very well, I, I, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> For on record, my name is Godfrey Osotsi, the Senator of Iga County and the Chairperson of the Committee. Uh, our clerk, can you confirm? Chair confirm the office of the clerk received the documents from Cliffy County Executive within the set timelines and we are ready to proceed. Very well. So we are having three funds. The Ward Cliffy County Ward Scholarship Fund, Cliffy County Emergency Fund, and Cliffy County Hospital Services Improvement Fund. I don't know why you included the hospital fund, because we had agreed that that will come in the face of uh, hospitals, when we are looking at hospitals. But since they have uh, responded, I think we'll proceed also with the hospital fund. The initial wish was that we handle hospitals separately. Uh, so, we will start with the Ward Scholarship Fund, and uh, I will uh, request the auditor to give us a brief of the three reports, and uh, in summary, we just give the status of each audit query. So let's start with the Ward Bursary Fund. Ward Scholarship Fund, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Auditor, proceed. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, the first one is Kilifi County Ward. Um, it's a qualified opinion with one qualified matter relating to bursary awarded to students without registration. The matter is um, still outstanding. Then um, on a report on lawfulness and effectiveness in use of public resources, there are two issues. I'm sorry, there are three issues. And um, they are still outstanding, the three of them under lawfulness, effectiveness in use of public resources. And they relate to regulations, uh, award of uh, scholarship to more, uh, students awarded a scholarship by more than one ward, then follow up to, I mean, failure to follow up on uh, beneficiary performance. That is, that is awful, 19, 2019, 2020. Then 
it's a qualified opinion also with uh, two qualifying matters and both of them have been uh, resolved then uh, there's another matter on budgetary control uh, that matter the executive the county uh, excuse me yes sir. you should not say resolved sorry, because sorry. it is the committee to resolve no 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 yeah you it should say addressed addressed thank yeah. you it has been addressed thank you chair then there is budgetary control performance um budgetary control and performance uh it has been addressed but uh, the accounting officer will give more details relating to the budget control and performance then uh, report on lawfulness and effectiveness in use of public resources there are three issues the first one on non-compliance with the board composition the other one is uh, addressed then failure to adhere to budget uh, budget allocation the accounting officer will give more details then and budgeted received that one has been uh, addressed then 2022 2020 2021 and um, 22 is a qualified opinion again and uh, it has two qualifying matters the first one has been is an accounting matter which has been uh, addressed then unsupported the second one is on unsupported uh, bursary disbursements that one has not been uh, uh, addressed fully then budgetary control and performance the accounting officer will give more details then unresolved priority matters um, they have been adequately addressed then uh, on lawfulness and effectiveness in use of public resources we have unsupported reallocation of ward bursary funds that one also has been uh, addressed so chair that is the scholarship ward scholarship ward scholarship fund if we move to health services fund oh, let's just handle one thank fund you. at a time thank you thank you chair so so for to be effective you just do one fund at a time so what did you say about unsupported bursary payments for the year ended 2021 chair the management has provided details of the schedules which were missing that time that is qualification number one and supported bursary payments the management has provided details of uh, the bursary uh, disbursements which were given in that period thank you okay, so that has been addressed from your end y yes chair what about uh, unbudgeted for receipts yes this one has been addressed also because it was a budget under a different uh, department and they have provided uh, uh, details of how that expenditure was incurred thank you uh, the issue of regulation for the year ended 2020 operationalization emerge I'm looking at okay sorry I was looking at a different report so honorable members uh, in that case uh, and based on the report I have here, disbursement, which uh, uh, is cross-cutting. Then uh, we will also look at the budgetary control and performance. 
that is uh, still year ended uh, 2022, June 2022. And then for the year ended uh, June 2021, uh, of course, there is also budget control and performance, which, as I said, the best year is 2021. So we'll look at it uh, for the two years, but using 2022 as a best year. Um, what about non-compliance with the requirement for board composition? Was it addressed? Yes, yeah. later the, the board has been uh, um, compo composed, so it's, it's addressed. Okay, for the year ended uh, 2020, we will consider one query. Uh, which is students awarded scholarship by more than more than one word. So, honourable members, those are the queries we are going to consider. I uh, will uh, request that we start with uh, the year ended 20 June 2020. The query number three which is uh, students awarded scholarship by more than one word. The uh, auditor proceed to read the query as it is. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. This is the report of the Auditor General on Cliffy County Ward Scholarship Fund for the year ended 30th June 2020. As guided, Chair, number two, as per the report, is scholarship beneficiaries. 2.1 students awarded scholarships by more than one word. I read, as previously reported, a review of scholarship beneficiaries schedule provided for audit showed that 331 students applied for and were granted scholarships totaling Kenya shillings 300 326,916,811 shillings in the year under review. Included in this amount are scholarships amounting to Kenya shillings 4,009,862 shillings which were awarded to students in various institutions from more for, from two or more words. The beneficiaries who received bursaries from more than one word benefited at the expense of other needy students and which indicated lack of equity resources within the county. Contrary to Section 149 of the Public Finance Management Act 2012, which states that an accounting officer is accountable to the county assembly for ensuring that resources of the entity which the officer is designated are used in a way that is lawful, authorized, effective, efficient, economical, and transparent. The management was therefore in breach of the law. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Governor, I must commend you the way you have organized your responses. Uh, very, thank you. Very well organized, and then the binding itself. Yes, yeah, so proceed with your response. Thank you, Chair. 